apologize. Uh, I think that the loop had a terrible reputation because we forgot what we learned in the early 1900s. You can't place a loop adjacent to the esophagus. When Bill Roth invented the Bill Roth II, he was doing small resections at the base of the stomach of the antrum. And as we, in the early 1900s, as surgeons, we expanded that, we did resections closer to total gastrectomies, and that is a tragic mistake. We learned that, Caesar Roux invented the Roux and Y because of that, you cannot put a loop adjacent to the esophagus. Now for the next 100 years, we treated ulcer disease with antrectomy and Bill Roth II, and it was a pretty good surgery. It's not perfect, it does have bile reflux, it does have marginal ulcers, it does have its own problems, but it's a short, simple surgery, and we do it all the time. In the United States, Bill Roth II is done roughly 16,000 times a year. Heaven forbid if it would be done by a bariatric surgeon, but it's done for gastric ulcers and trauma and gastric cancer all the time. Now, Edward Mason, uh, the father of bariatric surgery, many would say, put a loop adjacent to the esophagus. And not surprisingly, they, they did badly. And so I think many of us bariatric surgeons remember Mason's results. They were bad. And they hear Dr. Rutledge say he's using a loop. They assume it's going to be bad as well. But this is a loop like the old Bill Roth II that we do every day in our general surgery practice. Thank you very much, Dr. Rutledge, and at that point we'll...